Hello friends, my name is Parish and you're watching Tech Dynamics. In this video, we are going to see how we can set up OneNote integration for Dynamics 365. So keep watching and stay tuned. Now, apart from notes, OneNote integration is available with Dynamics 365 to keep your notes or drawings. Now, OneNote integration does not replace the timeline or the notes functionality in Dynamics 365. In Older versions of Dynamics 365, um, when you enable the OneNote, it used to uh, replace the Notes functionality, but uh, does not do in the latest versions. And the SharePoint integration is mandatory for OneNote because the notebooks are stored in the SharePoint. And to see how to enable SharePoint integration, you can view um, my, one of my previous videos. I have provided the link in the description below. Um, and apart from that, it would be interesting for you to see how you can enable OneDrive uh, for Dynamics 365 as well. Now, the other thing that you have to do is just to enable OneNote feature. This feature is not enabled automatically for all the entities. So you need to enable this feature on each entity individually. So let's go ahead and see how you can enable the OneNote integration. All right, so here we are in the Dynamics 365 environment. Let's just go to the advanced settings and under settings, let's just go to the document management. Now, as far as the first step is concerned, you need to enable the SharePoint integration, which is a mandatory step. As you can see, the SharePoint integration is already enabled over here. So if you want to know the, the steps in detail, I have already discussed that in one of my previous videos. Videos, you can check the link in the description below. As far as the second step is concerned, you need to click on OneNote integration. And this will bring up all, a list of all the entities over here. Now, by default, the OneNote integration is not enabled on all the entities. So you need to select the entities over here. You can select a couple of them and then click on finish. And once uh, that is done, you are good to go with your OneNote integration. That means it is available for all those entities. So let's just go ahead and select an account over here and select any account record. And in the common uh, user interface, now we have something called as timeline. Previously, there used to be a note section, but we have a timeline. So you kind of have a timeline of what all, you know, what all details you captured for this particular account. So as far as the normal notes section is concerned, you can still use the notes section. So um, let's say we write in some notes over here. Um, which can be anything and add a note. But as you can imagine, the normal note section has its own limitation because you can just capture a limited amount of data. So for that, we have enabled the OneNote integration. So click on the plus sign over here and click on OneNote. So what this will do is it will take you to the OneNote page of that particular account. So as you can see, the OneNote um, section that we have is for that particular account. So it's also easy to find. And over here, you can create various sections, you can add uh, pages, you can capture data or images, whatever you want to do. And of course, as far as the OneNote is concerned, you don't have to save the data, it is automatically saved. So you can imagine that you can capture a lot more information for a particular account or for any particular record for which the OneNote integration is enabled. It's a very interesting feature. Why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself? Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Do share your comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel Tech Dynamics. Bye bye.